Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about the Samsung Frame, which in my opinion is kind of the ultimate TV that you can buy today based on its design, features, and functionality. My friends at Samsung sent over this TV for me to check out and also sponsored this video, but all thoughts on this TV are my own based on my own personal experiences and testing over the past few weeks. This TV honestly does it all, from a variety of installation options to design customizability, a beautiful display for watching movies and shows, or using art mode when you're not watching TV, and an amazing audio setup with Samsung's ultra slim soundbar, which we'll discuss a bit later on in this video. So first, I of course had to unbox the TV and get it all set up and ready to go. Okay, let's unbox the TV. The assembly process and unboxing was pretty simple overall, but Samsung recommends you have some help with lifting and building the TV. Personally, I did it all by myself, but definitely I'd recommend having a bit of extra help. And there it is, the Samsung frame all built on the standard feet. Looks great, that was easy. Now actually installing and setting up the TV, you do have some options here. You can use the included feet that come in the box and put the TV on a TV stand, which does look pretty good, or you can mount the TV to the wall with the included flush wall mount resemblance of a canvas or painting once it's all installed. Or you can pick up the Samsung Studio Stand and attach the TV to these modern tripod legs. So you have options based on your space and how you want the TV to look. The standard feet that come in the box are actually pretty solid. They're height adjustable and have a very simple design. I think they look pretty good. Now actually setting up the TV and getting it all ready to go to watch content is also very simple. Samsung makes it simple with their included One Connect box. It's a box with all your ports and there are quite a few, pretty much everything you could ever want that you plug into the TV with a single cable, then plug the box into the wall. Very easy. The remote that comes with the TV is honestly my favorite included TV remote. It's simple, looks nice, all the buttons you need are there, and it charges over USB-C, or with the solar panel on the back. So just leave it face down, in the sun, it'll charge up. That's pretty cool. Now after powering on the TV for the first time, I went through the very easy and straightforward setup process, which leads me to the main home screen. And I also had a chance to start playing around with the art mode. I'm starting out here with this default image and I added a white frame around the image for just an added design touch. It looks great, but we'll talk a bit more about art mode later and detail all the features and all the different types of art you can have on your TV. Now for the setup of the TV, choosing between the various options, I decided on the studio stand because it's very unique and matches the overall vibe of my studio space. And also, I'm renting, so I can't really mount anything crazy to my walls in this space, and also I like to move things around all the time and the studio stand makes that very simple. Now the design of the TV does look pretty good here with its standard grey frame, but I want to take it up a notch with the overall design. Samsung also offers these really cool snap-on magnetic frames. There's this cool sand gold one which does look pretty nice, and there's also this teak wood one which is quite unique, and when's the last time you've actually seen a wood TV? It's pretty sweet. But I eventually settled on this simple white frame that Samsung offers. It makes the TV blend even more with the white walls in my space, it looks super unique, and also like, come on, a white TV just looks so sweet. Now that this TV is all set up and ready to go, let's actually decorate and furnish the space, keeping the design of the TV in mind. So I already have this large coffee table that I built and this blue lamp, so I also added in this plinth, a large freestanding mirror, a small cube bookshelf with some accessories, a small patterned rug, a variety of chairs for sitting, a donut wall lamp and some art, rearranged a few things here and there, tidy things up a little bit with the cables, and added the Samsung ultra slim soundbar and subwoofer to the setup. And that's it. I mean, it looks pretty great. Okay, let's talk about the overall design of this TV. If you're choosing the frame TV from Samsung, it means that the design is probably important to you and how the TV looks. I've already detailed the frames you can get for the frame, as well as some of the other different installation options. It's very versatile to match whatever space you want. The model I have is a 65 inch version and it comes in smaller sizes too, or even bigger sizes. 
The actual TV, even with the attachable frames, is quite slim and also has these slim bezels. And I've done a bit of clever cable management and hid the One Connect box with the studio stand. And the cables can also be arranged invisibly if you wall mount the TV. This creates an almost invisible cable free look which I definitely like. And the TV definitely looks like a picture frame or a canvas no matter how you choose to set it up or install it. It looks great. Now the other big feature that ties into the design and overall picture frame look of this TV is the matte display. And this special matte display helps to eliminate glare and reflections. So when you're watching TV during the day, you can just focus on your content without distracting reflections. It looks wonderful. And also when this TV is in art mode, it makes all of the art content look like it's actually in a picture frame with the matte display. And the TV also has the ability to sense the surrounding environment's color temperature and tone, as well as the brightness to help it seem even more realistic in the space. It really does look like a picture in a picture frame. It's beautiful. So during the day, the TV with art mode will match the daylight and adjust the brightness accordingly. And at night, it will get much more dim, just like a real canvas or painting actually would. And when you enter the room, the TV turns on. And when you leave the room, the TV will just turn off using a special motion sensor so you don't waste electricity. I have both ceiling lights and plenty of natural light coming into my space and the TV screen looks stunning. Now while we're on the topic of art mode, let's discuss it a bit more in detail because it is a pretty big feature of this TV. So instead of your TV just being boring and blank when you're not actually watching it, art mode lets your TV be a piece of art. And there's a pretty solid small collection that's actually built into the TV as well as a massive collection in the Samsung Art Store with over 2300 pieces to choose from from a variety of artists and institutions. There's paintings and modern art, photography, and so many other options. And you can see a lot of pieces from famous artists as well as other up and coming artists too. And if you're an artist or photographer yourself, you can have your own pieces displayed on the TV too. And that's what I've actually done here. So I can have all my wallpaper designs rotating on the TV throughout the day. It just makes my space feel more alive and full of art and color. And you can also customize the on-screen frame size and color of the frame, which is pretty cool, so you can just match your space even more. And the user interface for the art store is very simple, easy to navigate, and is really a killer feature for this TV. And both the software and display hardware work together very well to create a seamless experience. Okay, so that is the art mode. I'm a big fan of this feature, and it really helps make your TV just even more useful and more functional. But of course, this is a TV and you're going to be watching stuff on the TV. And let's talk about the display and viewing experience. So this is a 4K 65 inch QLED panel. The TV also has Quantum Dot technology and Samsung's Quantum Processor 4K to make both art mode and TV mode look amazing and showcase lifelike colors and texture in your content on your screen. The Quantum Dot technology keeps accurate color at any level of brightness for a great viewing experience at day or night, and it just always looks good. The TV also features HDR10 Plus support. And I'll be real with you, the screen itself is stunning, and all the content I've watched on this display honestly looks incredible. It gets very bright, and with the TV's wide viewing angle, all content looks beautiful. The colors are incredibly vibrant and accurate, and like, everything just looks good on this screen, as you'd expect. The TV also has really good built-in audio as well. The built-in speaker system has Dolby Atmos support and object tracking giving you a multi-dimensional sound experience. But to take things even further with the sound experience, I have Samsung's ultra slim soundbar and subwoofer called S801B. I have it in this matte white colorway to match the frame and the overall vibes of the studio, but it also is available in a matte black too. The soundbar can rest with your TV on a TV stand, or you can actually mount it to the wall very easily with the included kit. And I also have the power cable coming straight down in this white cable concealer so it's a bit more hidden. And the subwoofer is on the ground next to the TV. And both the soundbar and subwoofer, just like the TV, look amazing. The soundbar is very slim and looks quite minimal, with just a simple array of touch capacitive buttons on top, which you can use to control the audio, or use the included remote or your TV remote, which is also a nice touch. The subwoofer also looks pretty sweet, and just like the soundbar, is quite compact. It has a very minimal look, and I love the shape and exposed woofer design. 
Samsung has clearly spent a lot of time with the design of this system, and it shows. It looks great here in my setup with the studio stand, but even better with a wall-mounted setup as a soundbar just like the Frame TV can be mounted flush against the wall. So these products look great, but more importantly, they also sound great as well. So to connect the system to the TV, you can plug it in or connect wirelessly with Samsung TVs. No cable into the TV and no cable between the speaker and the subwoofer, just power cables and that's it. The rest is wireless. It has a beautiful surround sound experience that fills a room with a 3.1.2 channel sound. It just makes all contents and audio feel much more immersive and multi-dimensional. I think it sounds amazing. Especially in my space, it's a very open, very large space, and the whole room is just full of audio. It sounds wonderful. The soundbar also features adaptive sound to boost voice clarity and media, and space fit sound technology to optimize the sound based on the room that it's in, and it just helps make an even more personalized custom sound for your space. There's also Samsung's special Q-Symphony technology. What this basically does is syncs the TV's already pretty good speakers with the soundbar system to create an even better, louder, and more room-filling sound experience. It's pretty sweet, and a great way to actually boost the speaker performance even more. Okay, so to conclude, the Frame TV by Samsung is really a dream come true. The design is absolutely beautiful, and there are so many amazing customization options for the design or installation that make it fit any environment. It's an incredibly well-designed system, and Samsung honestly thought of everything. Watching content on this TV is a wonderful experience with its beautiful display, and the art mode makes a TV even more useful when you're not watching anything. The TV becomes a piece of art, and that's a wonderful feature. The software experience is solid and intuitive, and the TV sounds great by itself, but when paired with Samsung's ultra-slim soundbar system, it goes to the next level, all while looking amazing. Okay, so overall, everything here is fantastic. The TV, the soundbar, this is a great TV system.